But in terms of uh, the whole storage piece, uh, it seems like just a few weeks ago uh, I was with you and you did your uh, unveiling of the power wall and the power pack, uh, which was really quite an event. Um, incredible buzz generated uh, around that uh, starting, what, two or three weeks before the actual unveiling and then quite a bit afterwards. Um, tell us a little bit about, about how you see uh, the, the power wall in particular, how, how you see that kind of fitting into the, the electric infrastructure, how that integrates with uh, perhaps Teslas or solar panels, or how, how do you see that part? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I mean, I'll talk a little bit about the, the power wall and then a bit more about the power pack. The, the power wall is sort of a small kind of wall-mounted um, battery pack, um, and its function is going to be, or, or its application is going to be quite different, say, in different parts of the world. And it really depends on um, the nature of electricity provision in various parts of the world, um, and whether there's a, um, uh, a rate arbitrage opportunity or not. Um, so, in the, so I'll take, say, talk say about the U.S. market. Um, and there's a lot of confusion among journalists because they'll conflate um, the, uh, you know, a, a, the, the, the use of the battery pack as kind of a, a UPS, as like a backup right. power system right. with use of the battery pack as the power wall as a daily cycling system. Um, but in the U.S., since there's, there's not really much of an opportunity to, for a time of day, uh, rate arbitrage, um, or you know, to sort of buffer power during the day, it, it, we think most customers in the U.S. are going to be using it as kind of a UPS, as a backup power. Mm -hmm. um, so that 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 essentially protects them in you know, case that there's a, a big storm or some kind of natural disaster. Or whatever the case may be, that has where there's an occasional power outage, um, and then depending upon how many power walls they install and the size of their house, that will give them backup power for a certain number of hours. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, it's, so that's basically a backup power um, function, um, and and uh, and so that's not really an economic argument. It's just it's more of a security argument. What's mm -hmm. what what value is there in? in how many people see value in having an uninterruptible under, power supply? Um, and um, but even if that's only a few percent of households in the U.S., that's still a pretty huge market because it's sort of millions of, of power walls just in the U.S. I think um, most of the most of the stuff I saw around it was is it okay thirty five hundred bucks for the power wall? But are there other things that you have to do to also uh, really make it function that way or function in some some other manners? Uh, so there's more around what's the actual net 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 cost uh, associated with it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna. I, mean, I have a, unfortunately I have a like a annual well not unfortunately but I have a, a shareholders meeting in in a couple of days. Uh, you get to for, do those too. Huh? That, yeah, later this week <laughs> for, for Tesla. So I'm planning to talk about it then. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's your chance to preview. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna talk about it. I think at the the share, Tesla shareholders meeting. Um, because I think there's, there's a fair bit of confusion in, in the media, and I think unfortunately, s some things that w were also said by Solar City that were not correct. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You so. don't have any control over those guys. Well, <laughs> we had a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, we we want to. That's actually what we really want to hear about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that uh, we'll 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 fix some of those items there, um, and I, I can say that you know that the uh, just. The distribution of the power wall will be prioritized on um, who, who uh, is able to provide this to mm -hmm. the end user at the lowest cost, mm -hmm. um, assuming a minimum quality standard. So, for those that meet the quality standard, um, because there's excess demand, uh, we want to make sure that uh, the end user um, still captures the, the benefit um, and. Because uh, it would be possible to sell the power wall for quite a bit more than than, than what we distribute it for. Okay. Um, Let's talk about the power pack because I think that as yeah, you said, exactly. that's so, something that's uh, kind of interesting from a utility standpoint. Absolutely. As well. So <clears throat> I should also say, like the, the power wall. I mean, we, we expect in terms of the of stationary storage that 
probably 80, if not 90 percent of all the stationary storage we sell will be the power pack, not the power wall. Mm -hmm. So the power wall gets a lot of attention because it's kind of a consumer-oriented thing. It looks pretty good, too. Yeah, it looks nice. Absolutely. Who did the, um, who did the design on that? Uh, it's at Franz von Holzhausen in our design studio. Oh, right. So uh, Anyway, I took you off your subject. But, so. uh, but um, yeah, um, so, so the, um, the, the power pack, uh, which is a almost infinitely scalable uh, stationary storage system that's capable of, of doing you know, gigawatt hour of storage, if, yeah. if you want. Um, that's that's what we expect to be the, the mainstay of the stationary storage uh, activity. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and, 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 and there's a huge amount of potential for that because even before one gets to uh, uh, renewable power generation, um, if you simply say as a utility, well, what for, for any given day, what's the difference between my peak um, and trough of energy provision? And if, if that's, let's, if let's say that's a, that's a two to one ratio, um, in principle, you could take your, uh, a whole bunch of your, your, your production, like the, your, the, the, the most expensive production, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the basically <laughs> the most difficult plants, and you could actually potentially shut down some of the more difficult plants or curtail their use um, and use stationary storage for the, with something like the power pack um, and, um, and fundamentally improve the efficiency of, of the grid. Uh, 